Hello again and welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and we will continue our journey through the gas laws by looking at the ideal gas law and there are actually two forms we will study. The first form though deals with moles and volume so this will be the ideal gas law with mole. So the ideal gas law uses the formula PV equals nRT and the ideal gas law uses the same variables we've looked at before pressure, volume, and temperature. However, we're also going to deal with moles and we are going to deal with a gas law constant. So the N value is the moles of gas. So how many moles of gas? Now if we are given that in grams, we're going to have to convert that to moles using stoichiometry. The R is the gas law constant, and there are several gas law constants based on different units that can be used for the gas laws, but for this class we are going to use the 0 0.0821 and we will always convert pressure to atmospheres, volume to liters, the grams will be converted to moles, and as with all the gas laws, we will always change Celsius to Kelvin. Pressure will be in ATM. Make sure to convert tor, millimeters of mercury, kilopascals, all to ATM. Volume will be in liters. So if we're given milliliters, centimeters cubed, or decimeters cubed, we must convert to liters. And like I said, with all gas laws, we always convert Celsius to Kelvin. So here we have a sample problem, and the sample problem is 5 grams of methane. CH4 is held in a 2.5 liter chamber. The temp inside the chamber is 25 degrees Celsius, and we're going to look for the pressure of the methane gas. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to convert the mass of the methane to moles because we need a mole value for the N and so the mass of methane is 16 so that 5 grams of methane becomes 0.3125 moles of methane. Next we're going to list all of our values so the pressure is what we are looking for the volume is 2.1 liters the moles we just calculated out is 0.3125 moles. The gas law constant is a constant, therefore it is always the same, 0.0821 atmospheres, liters over moles Kelvin, and our temperature at 25 degrees Celsius plus 273 gives us a 298 Kelvin because the Celsius temperature must always be converted to Kelvin. So there's our values. So we're going to go ahead and take the equation, PV equals nRT, and plug in the values. Notice that the P is what we are looking for, 2.1 liters, the mole value, the gas law constant, and the Kelvin temperature. Rearranging that algebraically, we end up with 0.3125 moles times 0.0821 times 298 divided by 2.5 on our calculator we simply multiply the three values on the top and divide by the value on the bottom and we end up with 3.1 as our atmospheric value for pressure using the ideal gas law. So let's go ahead and look at another sample and here we have oxygen gas held in a 1200 milliliter tank at 30 degrees Celsius and 900 Tor. So because we are using the gas law constant we must convert the milliliters to liters. So we move the decimal 3 to the left and get 1.2 liters. Our Celsius temperature gets added to 273 to give us 303 Kelvin. And our 900 Tor we multiply by 1 atmosphere and divide by 760 to cancel the TOR and get 1.18 atmospheres. Listing our knowns and unknowns, we have a pressure of 1.18 atmospheres, 1.2 liters of volume, 
we are looking for the moles here because we are trying to find the mass of the gas and in order to get the mass we must go through moles our R value is the constant 0 0.0821 and the temperature is 303 Kelvin so now that we have our values listed and our unknown we go ahead and plug those values in 1.18 atmospheres times 1.21 liters equals the value we're looking for in moles times the constant times Kelvin rearranging that algebraically and then canceling out the units and that is the importance of that ideal gas law constant we notice that atmospheres cancels with atmospheres liters with liters Kelvin with Kelvin we're gonna end up with a value in moles we can calculate it by 1.18 times 1.2 divided by 0 0.0821 divided by 298 or we could divide by the value of 0 0.0821 times 298 make sure you plug that into your calculator correctly so we have 0 0.058 moles of oxygen as our answer but that is not our final answer because that's in moles and the question asks us to find the mass of the gas so we now must go to converting the moles to mass and we do that by setting it up as stoichiometry of 0.058 moles of oxygen times 32 grams divided by that one mole value and we end up with a gram mass of 1.8 grams of oxygen being used in this chamber of gas so that is the ideal gas law two samples of PV equals NRT using the mole value and volume for pressure times volume equals moles times the R value or constant times temperature. So keep working on your chemistry.